spotlight on direct-to-consumer snacks and instant foods maker Adu Kale, who has secured 11 crore rupees in funding, and this has been led by Force Ventures. Bharat Kaushik is the director and CEO now joining in on the show. Thanks so much for taking time out. So, what exactly will these funds be used for? I understand primarily to expand your offline presence. Yeah, hi, Anand. Uh, thanks for having us. Uh, it's great to, I've seen a lot of your uh, uh, coverage and videos and I look forward to your show. So thank you very much for uh, uh, taking time to talk to us. I'll take a couple of seconds to just talk about who we are as a brand. Right? So Adukale is the fastest uh, growing traditional South Indian Karnataka based snack brand today in the market. Right. So we have been uh, in the business for the past, we started in 2009. We have a range of 50 plus products now. Uh, we are spread across 20 of our own experience stores across Bangalore and Mysore. We have a robust distribution network of about uh, 1,500 plus uh, supermarkets that we are present in. We are present in your uh, online channels like your Zepto, Blinkit, Biggies, in addition to our own online channel, right? So we are a truly omni-channel kind of a brand, right? So with respect to the fundraise, we have raised about 11 crores today, as of today, as of March uh, 2024. Uh, we raised it uh, by, the investment was led by uh, Force Ventures, uh, also led by marquee investors like uh, Anya Ventures, uh, who was added by Anvita Prashant, who is the founder of uh, Go Native. Uh, we have uh, Radhika Pandit, who is one of our uh, investors. We have Subhuta Mitra from Axel, who's invested in this individual capacity, right? So we have raised this fund uh, primarily as a growth fund, right? So this is our dry powder for us to scale the brand in terms of building distribution to ensuring that we build the right team to take this brand forward. So this is primarily the reason why we have uh, raised this fund. It's primarily a growth fund for us. So how many exclusive stores are you running at present? How many uh, uh, supermarkets and retail stores? How does the format work? What's the expansion? Yeah, so we operate primarily in four different channels today, right? So we have our own experience stores. We call them an experience store because these are stores where people can actually try the product. We have samplers there where people can touch, feel, smell each of the product and, ex and experience what the product truly is, right? With, with food, ultimately, it has to sit well on your tongue at the end of the day, right? So we have 20 of these experience stores spread across Bangalore and Mysore. So a good chunk of our revenue, about 30 to 35% of our revenue comes from these channels, uh, our own experience stores, right? So then we have your general trade where we operate through a network of distributors where we are present across 1,500 odd supermarkets across Bangalore, Mysore and other uh, peer to cities in Karnataka. We have modern trade where we combine, in, in modern trade, we combine like your uh, supermarket chains, like your Metro Cash and Carries, your Namdharis, your MK Retails, your super well-known supermarket chains, in addition to your quick commerce like Zepto, Blinkit, you know, uh, Swiggies and all Swiggies as well. Right? And then we have a fourth channel, which is exports, where we send our products across to our diaspora residing uh, over the world, like be it the US, be it Australia, be it Europe and all of those things. So, and then we have our own online channel, where aduplay.com is the site where we uh, do it and India. Ship products across India and overseas. So, Bharat, give us a sense as to what the recurring revenue is uh, currently, how you're looking to really grow that number. Are you profitable on an EBITDA basis at present? Yeah. See, we do about two and two crores as our MRR as of today, right? Uh, with the contribution margin level, we are profitable, right? Uh, in terms of all the margins, all the channels that we operate, each of the channels is profitable for us at a contributing margin level, right? At an EBITDA earnings level, we are on the part of profitability in the next 12 to 15 months. And you're also looking to open uh, a number of stores. You want to expand supermarkets. What's the, what's the game plan when it comes to the overall expansion? Uh, for us, for the next year, we are primarily offline. We are focusing on Karnataka and a couple of other uh, uh, metros in the south. Right? So primarily, the offline strategy is going to be Karnataka. So we'll probably open up about 10 to 12 more experience stores in tier 2 cities in the state and then ramp up our distribution to be in about 2,500 to 3,000 outlets by March 2025. Right? Our pan-India story would be on the back of our e-commerce channel and our e-commerce channel. 
So, will the bulk of your sales come from the offline markets? How much will be contributed from your online channels? See, as of today, if I look at by online channel, I'll we look at online as our own channel and Amazon and uh, Flipkart. We look at your quick commerce as a separate modern trade format because of the way in which those channels behave. Okay. So if I look at my own channel today, it contributes about 67% of my top line. The plan for the coming year is to do about 10 to 11% of our revenue should come from our online channel, where we ship it to all pin codes, uh, top pin codes across the country. Right, so there uh, we are seeing pretty good traction online. Uh, we have a fairly good control over our uh, average order values and fairly good control over our cost of acquisition. Sean, are you worried about competition hurting your growth and what's the long-term vision? See, in terms of uh, competition, yeah, there's always going to be competition and competition is a good thing for us as well to grow as a brand. In terms of, if I look at the market today, there's a huge white space in the kind of category in which we operate. Like the world over, I think in India, there are a lot of brands today where we are moving towards the traditional form of eating and traditional snacking is a category which is growing quite rapidly. And if you look at a Karnataka-centric brand, today you don't have anybody in the market who offers Karnataka-centric traditional snacks at all. Right? So you have your big brands like MPR where they look at everything under the sun except snacks. Within a Karnataka snacking category, there's nobody. So we see there's a huge white space there. And we are the uh, only brand today who offers everything right from your breakfast to your snacking, to your spices, to your masalas from a purely Karnataka-centric perspective. And that is a market which we feel is, is big and for us, the next year plan is to focus on that. Get our Karnataka story, get our Karnataka distribution right, get Karnataka and be done with it. And then start looking at other tier, other metros in the south. All right, thanks so much for joining in. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.